Hey guys, this is Dual Dreamer. I'm actually here with Rob Massey, who is one of the announcers for Renegade Wrestling Alliance, RWA. If you ever want to check us out, check us out on our YouTube page, The RWA Forever. We have a lot of great matches on there. You guys won't be disappointed. But anyway, I want to do a little discussion here. I know you guys usually see me all by myself doing wrestling discussion, but I want to have him talk about something that was very interesting that we were talking about last week about wrestling things. Sure. Well, yeah, we were talking uh, last week about uh, the hypocrisy of professional wrestling fans when it comes to uh, wrestling that you, that you like or don't like in, with their in-ring work. Uh, right. For example, the popular person to dislike if you're above the age of 18, for the most part, is John Cena. Yeah. Mainly because he's this version, this generation's version of Hulk Hogan. He has three or four moves that everybody knows is going to happen, that it's going to come out. It's going to be basically the same cookie cutter type of match. Which is great because he's doing his job, he's making money. I fortunately don't like it because I know that he can wrestle much better than what he is doing right now. That being said, I say to a Cena fan, whether it's a young person or somebody our age, I really don't like John Cena. They go, well, why? How can you not like John Cena? I mean, he, he's, he, look at all the stuff that he does for the community. Look at, look at uh, he's, he's the number one requested Make-A-Wish person. He, he does all his work for charity, so that's, that's great. I'm not saying I don't like John Cena person. I don't like John Cena the professional wrestling. Right. Now let's let's switch the roles again because you oh, and I are, are a very big fan of um, Chris Benoit, the late Chris Benoit. Yeah, we, are, we definitely are. I bring up him once in a while, especially since I grew up during that great rival between Benoit and Jericho. Right. And I really miss those matches with Chris Benoit. People look at me like I have three heads, and Chris Benoit's a murderer. He killed his family, he killed his wife. Look, look, look at what he did. And I said, Yeah, but I can I can separate. I miss Chris Benoit the wrestler. Right. So it's easy to separate for wrestling fans, or it's it's not easy to separate Chris Benoit and what he did in his personal life, and be a fan of that. But you can't hate John Cena's in ring work because of all the stuff that he does in his personal life. Right. It's it, that's the hypocrisy that I'm coming at. And I'm not sure if it's coming out the right way, but it's basically that because Cena's doing so well for you know for charity for the community, right. you can't say anything bad about his in ring work. Right. You know, I, I'm a football fan. O.J. Simpson was one of the greatest players to ever to ever lace up spikes. He he was accused of killing his wife. He's currently in jail, not because of that, but for other reasons. Doesn't mean he's a good person off the field, but as an athlete in the field, he was great. Chris Benoit was a great in ring worker. Right. I've always said this to a lot of people that you know, when it came to Chris Benoit, a lot of people would say, you know, f Chris Benoit. He's a murderer. He's a child murderer. He's a coward and all that stuff. And I said, listen. I always remember him as Chris Benoit, and, please, and plus, a lot of fans will always say, oh, I know Chris Benoit, and I told him, no, you don't. He said, oh, I watch his documentaries, I read his books, it's like, that's just a tip of the iceberg. You don't know Christopher Michael Benoit, and I always say that to people. I, even his own friends, when what happened with the tragedy, sometimes they were kind of still questioning, why would he do something like this, you know what I mean? And I prefer to remember him as Chris Benoit. The guy, that, you know, the guy that would go out and work a match and would be the last person to leave the ring to a standing ovation, whether he won or lost, at any show that I've ever seen him live. Exactly. And I, I'll say this, I also respect John Cena. You know? right. I'll say that like, he's not a great wrestler, but he's doing his job and he's, he's, he's making, I mean, see, you're making $16 million a year, right. then you're doing something right. Right. It's just like Hulk Hogan, like everyone said, oh, he's not a great wrestler. But Look at the stuff in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> See him with um, Great Muda, and you'd be surprised. But anyway, thank you very much for uh, being part of my show. And uh, if you guys have any comments, feel free to comment down below, whether it's negative or positive. You know, I I like to listen to everybody, okay? And if you guys want to challenge me, then we'll have a little spat. I don't care. So anyway, this is uh, Dual Jimmer. This is Rob Massey. Like I said, watch RWA. The RWA forever. I'm in it too. It's a start on Great wrestling. Yes, I'm just on You are. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys.